In this video, we'll go over Slack's key features and show how to best use the messaging app. Use our clickable sections below to keep track of what step you're on during this tutorial. After you have the Slack app downloaded and open, either join your team's workspace or create a new one. Workspaces are made up of channels where team members can communicate. This is your workspace. This dropdown shows several features. You can invite people to your workspace, check what Slack plan you're on, create channels, edit your settings, discover tools, add more workspaces, and sign out of Slack. Channels are generally used for larger conversations and allow people to join or leave as needed. Public channels are represented by a hashtag before the channel name. Private channels require an invitation and have a lock symbol next to them. You can also use the Find feature by hitting Command F on a Mac or Control F on a PC and typing in the text you're searching for. Under Direct Messages, you'll see all your private messages with teammates. Unlike channels, these messages are only seen by the specific person or people you sent it to. You can have a conversation with just one person or up to eight. To start a new message, hover over Direct Messages and click on the plus sign or hit the pencil and pad icon. Type in the person, people, or channel you want to communicate with and write your message. Next to your message, you'll see a lightning bolt icon. This offers shortcuts to apps you have access to. Click the A symbol to change your message formatting. Clicking this will show you your formatting settings and unclicking will hide them. Next, you'll see the at symbol. This allows you to mention someone in a message, to call attention to the message, or address someone directly in a conversation. The paperclip allows you to upload a file to your message. To send, hit the paper airplane icon or press enter or return on your keyboard. You can also communicate with emojis. If you hover over any message, you can send one of three default emojis or choose from a collection. You also have options to reply in a thread to a specific message, forward the message to a different conversation, or save it. To customize your profile and image, tap on the square with the green dot at the top right. You can update your status, edit your profile, and go through all the files you downloaded on Slack. In Edit Your Profile, you can change your profile picture, full name, display name, and other personal information. You can also choose to pause notifications for a specific amount of time. Slack allows you to further customize in Preferences under your workspace dropdown. And that's how to use Slack.